It's that time of year again. Just got back from GameStop. My girlfriend pre-ordered this for me for my birthday, so I'm looking forward to playing it. I've just played a few games. It's kind of hard to give your first impressions just after like an hour of playtime, but it was pretty fun so far. And I've also got some new shoes since I have made a video. I've got the Flyknit 4.0s. I like the color on these, kind of flashy, and just something different than these Converse's that I've been wearing lately. And you guys have probably seen me wear these in like 90% of my workout videos for three years, but they've got holes in them. I'll still wear them from time to time, but it might just be time for a new pair. And that's what I did. And I'm also going to try out some new shoelaces on these. These are called Hickeys right here. I got the black and the green ones just because I thought they would really match the shoe. So I'm going to try to lace these up here in just a few minutes and test them out. But what they are is basically elastic shoestrings and they'll stretch and conform to your feet while you're running and basically eliminate you from ever having to tie your shoes again. And they also kind of clean up the shoes. You don't have this big bow out in the front so they'll kind of look more like that but with the black and the highlighter yellow contrast right there. So let's give it a go. So I've got this shoe unlaced right here and look at all of the hickeys that I have. Wow. So what you're gonna do is take each hickey individually and you pull it through the shoestring holes where you would just normally put your shoestring. Just grab it onto the other side and pull it on through. Just like that right there. And then you can fold it over, stick the little extra piece right here into the hole and wrap it around the center plastic and there you go. It looks like there is a rubber band in your shoelaces and it is stretchy. So I'm going to finish this up and I'll show you guys what they look like. Two minutes later, I've got these bad boys laced up right here, streamlining it from the side and you guys can see if my foot is in there, they're going to stretch and move with my feet and just adapt over time as opposed to laces where they don't really have that stretch in them like this. So I'm looking forward to trying these out in the gym. If you guys want to grab a 30% off link, they hooked me up with one down below in the descriptions for my viewers. It's Laces Out 2014. Just trying these on for the first time, walked around the room a little bit. They definitely feel different than normal shoelaces because like I said, you can feel them move with your feet and it's kind of cool. Chanel the Pug definitely approves. What do you think of them, Chanel? You like them? Oh yeah, she likes them. It is leg day, gonna go hit the gym, and I will see you guys there. Are you excited for leg day, Chanel? It does not look like it. What's up guys, it is Michael, checking back in with some more commentary, and I finally have some leg workout footage for you guys, and I haven't posted legs since I've moved, so about two months or so, and the whole reason for that is my low bar squat has really been struggling. So what I'm doing is starting to front squat. And this is my second workout doing front squats as the main compound movement and not just throwing them in after regular low bar squats. So 185 pounds, I did five sets here and I got in between eight and 10 reps every single time. And before I moved my squat, my low bar squat was feeling so strong. It was so encouraging. And I don't know what it's been. Maybe it's the new gym and not having that wooden platform to squat on, but it's just been a little bit of a struggle and I don't wanna make excuses, but I've noticed there's a problem, so I'm trying to switch it up. Front squats are still a new movement for me, but I'm pretty happy with the way that these are looking. If you have any tips on the front squat, feel free to let me know because this is a new exercise for me and I know I could do the other grip where you hold the bar on your wrist, but I just don't have the flexibility for that right now. I would like to do it correctly one day, but for now, the cross arm grip is just gonna have to work. And you guys will notice I'm not using the Inzer belt on any of the sets in this workout. And I'm really trying to get away from using the belt as much as I have in the past. And I wanna build up my core because you really are only as strong as your weakest link. And if I'm using the belt all the time, it's just kind of masking a weakness. So I'm starting from the ground up, I'm building the foundation and I'm gonna try to go away from the belt. Now, if I ever max out, I might use the belt just for safety reasons, but it's not going to be something that I reach for on my first working set from now on. And from there, I moved over to the leg press and you guys can see that hand coming in. That is my new workout partner, Gerald. I'm trying to get him on the legs push-pull split just so 
we can start working out together more, but it has been nice to have a workout partner because my workouts are always way more intense with someone else there. It just, the intensity doesn't really taper off like it does when I work out by myself. So if I'm doing chest and triceps, I can tell by the end of the workout, I'm ready to go home. The intensity really isn't there. And sometimes I find myself slacking off on triceps or biceps. But if you've got a workout partner, that doesn't really happen because you just kind of feed off of each other and it leads to better workouts. So hopefully I'll get him in some videos. You guys remember my old training partner, Ryan, he moved to Oklahoma City. So it's around an hour and a half away. It's kind of a long drive just to go down there to work out and make a day trip out of it. So hopefully we'll get him in some more videos. He does have a channel now if you guys want to check it out. I can link that down below as well. And then I jumped on the leg extensions machine here trying to get that teardrop action in the quads. I'm super white so it's kind of hard to see but they're coming in nicely. Slowly but surely taking baby steps and keep on progressing. That's the key thing. And outside of the gym lately I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty with Tony Doe. Do any of my subscribers game down below? I got it on Xbox One, have been enjoying it. It's definitely different for a Call of Duty, but I would like to see what some of my bros or brosettes think out there on the internet down below in the comments. So tune in with that. And then I finished up the workout with some standing calf raises on the Smith machine. And this is a really good exercise. I like it more than doing them on a standing calf machine where you can pick the weights. I just feel like it moves a lot more smoothly, but with this, you definitely have to have a box or something to stand on. And after the workout, you guys are probably gonna think I'm crazy, but I did not know that double wrap burritos at Chipotle were free. Like I didn't know you could get an extra tortilla. So my workout buddy Gerald was like, you know, you can get a double wrap and it's no extra. So look at that beast right there. It was delicious. Just chilling outside of Chipotle, guys. And of course, I track the macros on this. Following flexible dieting, doing it responsibly, which is always a good thing in many aspects of life. And this is how I plug everything into my fitness pal. I've got my plain chicken burrito, which is around 800 calories. I don't get guacamole or queso or anything like that. And then it's double wrap. So obviously, I want to account for that extra tortilla 300 calories and all is right and my stomach is full and I'm very happy. That's it for the video guys. If you liked it, thumbs it up down below. I always appreciate that. And if you wanna check out my last video, some chests and tries, that's on the left and a protein cheesecake is on the right. So I will let you guys click on one of those and I will talk to you next video.